Hey everybody, it is time for another unboxing and this one is one I've been waiting for to tell you all about until today and I'm super excited. I have not even opened this yet and I, I do, this is gonna be so good. Um, it's a big day. If you guys have been watching videos, and if you guys, depending when you watch this, um, you know there's been some big news in the Airsoft world. There's been the Glock announcement, which is probably the biggest licensing deal out there. But there's been another one in the works that I've kind of known about for a little while. Um, we saw some hints, and you guys may have heard about it too. And this is it. This is the first thing. It's the licensed Cry Precision. Now, this is not real Cry Precision. It's licensed Cry Precision, and it's real. It's 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 out, It's this is it. So this is the first look. It's coming from Z-Shot. If you guys are familiar with Z-Shot, their company, distributor in the United States, they've worked the licensing deal out with Cry Precision for their gear. Uh, starting with a couple different carriers and it's gonna probably grow, actually, definitely gonna grow out from there. Um, these are the prototypes. So this is the first replica licensed Cry Precision gear. And ooh, there's extra stuff in here. All right, so I just cut the box open. I know you guys ask, uh, I, I love my Gerber knives. These are my favorites, uh, absolutely good best. Um, in here, oh, got a little bonus. If you guys know, I love my Odin. Oh, oh, I love my Odin speed loader, right? This is see-through, I don't know if you guys can hold it through the light. Yeah, you can kind of see there. Um, you can see it's see-through. So they've actually gone with the translucent material here so you can put your BBs in and see how many BBs you have left in it instead of having to shake it. I like that. I've got a black one currently, but this translucent one is pretty, there you go, I think I get the camera right, so I don't have any reflections there for you. Uh, that is a cool little update. If you guys don't know about one of these, um, you dump a lot of BBs in here. I mean, I think it's like 1,600 rounds, and you click your mag in, you one, one, wine, and in like a couple seconds, your mag is loaded. So I'll, I'll kind of do a little bit more on that on the Monday video, but this is it. This is, dang, this looks good. Okay, so here's what's going on with this. This is a Cry Precision AVS. This is the AVS replica they have on it. And if you guys don't know, the AVS is the adaptive vest system. It is kind of like the all inclusive, does it all. It could be kind of like a JPC with just the plate bags, but the AVS is known for having this chassis. You see this black part right back here, super comfortable. I owned a real AVS for a long time. I sold it and I regret it. Um, and then this is now an airsoft version. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with this stuff too, and I'll kind of give you some rundown because I did do some research and uh, kind of found out what's going on with this before we actually talk about the carrier. It is made of US materials. Actually, there's US materials in here. They're not like coming from somewhere else. US stitching, the, the cloth, the materials, all that is real materials. It's following the Cry Precision patterns. So they're actually, since they are licensed by Cry, they're actually using the real pattern to stitch these out, not just some guesswork to think that maybe we're gonna, this is how it is. They're actually using the pattern, but it is made overseas. This is not very compliant. This is not for sale for military or law enforcement. This is specifically for the airsoft market. In fact, you'll even see um, that uh, it's gonna have stickers inside that are gonna say replica, uh, do not use, and all the good stuff on there, just so you know. I mean, this is not something you wanna use. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean it's not made extremely well, because I'm already looking at this, looking at the stitching and the quality and all the materials I use. I mean, this looks spot on for me, even the cloth. Also, if you look at the color, these are colors that you, I'm super excited about this. This is like urban gray. They don't, Cry doesn't even make one in urban gray. So they, these are prototypes, I don't know if this is gonna be a final color. And I think they've sent out like eight of these. There are four JPC 2.0s and four ABSs. They kind of went to a bunch of us in the media to come kind of show you guys all the cool stuff. Um, what's cool about this is, and hang on, let me kind of open this all up. So it looks like it does not come with the cummerbund. So if you guys know the ABS, you can add a whole bunch of modular stuff to it. Uh, it has like the zip on plate bags. You buy the bags themselves, plate bags, which are like this piece here and this front piece here. Then you buy the chassis, which is this big black piece and these arms that come out like this. They do have molly on them. And then you can buy cummerbunds and things like that. Then you can strip this thing down. You can actually make it. it does have the individual strap though. So you can actually make this a slick plate carrier. You can take this front plate bag off, this back plate bag off and use these straps on it to be like a very, very low profile, slick, basic plate carrier. Or you can go with the chassis, which is what I like. The whole benefit of this is this big chassis wing system here, which makes it very, very, very comfortable to wear for long games. That's why I regret getting rid of mine. I got rid of it and I was like, oh man, I every second of my life, I wish I didn't do that. Uh, this is a size medium. Medium is the plate bag size. 
Also, and this will size into the actual uh, the chassis portion on all that. It does have the zippers on here. They are set up the correct way, which uh, if you guys have seen some of the illegal copies out there, they're not set up right. So you'll be able to zip on different accessories. I'm assuming, in fact, I pretty much know they're gonna have a lot of accessories on this once they're approved as they come down the way. Again, don't know the colors, don't know what we're gonna have here. Like this is an urban gray. I'm not sure if this is the final cover color. I've seen multicam black, I've seen multicam tropic, I've seen some solids and regular multicam out there floating around too as part of this prototype release. So this was kind of neat. They went, they kind of got them, they did some sign offs on these and then they went out to all of us to look. So we kind of got a random sampling. I didn't know what I was gonna get until I got here. So this one does come, which I do like, uh, with the actual triple shingle here on the front, but I'm sure down the road you might be able to get the the cool iconic cry stuff going on here. So yeah, that's just a quick look about this AVS. I mean, the buckle's pretty darn good. I'm not seeing, yeah, this, I gotta tell you, man, for, for somebody who's owned a real one, this looks good. I will have a comprehensive review of this product. Don't think this is gonna be it. This is not all inclusive. I just wanted to open this on camera and share it with you guys uh, what's going on. Plus the nice bonus of the, the, the see-through Odin, which I didn't think they could make the Odin any better, but it looks like they did. Is by the way, by far, I mean, I've done a review on it and I rarely say this about products. It is my favorite speed loader out there, hands down, if you guys run mid caps. It's really hard for me to find, go to anything else. When I forget to bring that to a game, it's terrible. But I did want to show you this right off the bat to give you an idea. I am thoroughly impressed with the quality at first glance. But like I said, I want to dive deeper on this. I'm going to get it on. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to use it in games. I'm going to load the sucker up with some pouches. And I'm going to get out and really put some miles on it to see if it does hold up in a full comprehensive review. Um... But the big news here is the licensing for Cry is going to reproduction. We have repro, rep, rep, reproduction Cry gear that's fully licensed Cry Precision. Um, I wonder what you guys think about this. Price point, real quick. Uh, this is the AVS. So if you guys know, if you do a full AVS loadout, something close to this is probably 700 US dollars, maybe more for the real one, for the, the actual mil spec made in the USA official cry precision AVS, the way this is with the chassis and the plate bags and all this. Um, this one is gonna be priced well under uh, or underneath that $300 price point. So uh, that is the big difference here as we're looking at a big drop in price because it's not very compliant. It's not made in the US, it's made overseas, but it is using US materials, which is pretty darn cool. Um, what do you guys think? The JPC 2.0 is gonna be under $200 too. So that's actually, I think those are close to 400 US dollars for the, the official one, the US made one. Uh, uh, and the repro is going to be under 200 fully licensed so what do you guys think i want to know is this it what colors do you want to see this is the gray i kind of like it i didn't think i was going to like it but i do it's growing on me quick but what do you guys think of the different ones do you want to see some cool colors like this that you've never seen them in before or do you want to see the traditional ones like coyote and multicam which they already have out there right now let me know in the uh, comment section below what your favorite colors are for gear what you guys run at games and what your thoughts are of officially licensed cry precision gear in the airsoft world dropping this year should be seeing more of these like i said these are the samples i think in november 2017 we're going to see a few more Come trickling in. They should be set up for pre-order here anytime now at your favorite retailer. As soon as they do have a pre-order, I'll put a link in the description below. And then final sales should be coming out, I hope, by the end of this year, December, maybe even January. Once I have a firm date, I will let you guys know on the Monday show. And if you guys aren't a subscriber here, I'd love to have you, especially Mondays. I do a Q&A show and some updates every week. And of course, reviews and unboxings like this one all week long. So until next time, guys and gals, go out, play some Airsoft, have some fun. But no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.